Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming with another episode of Fable 3. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, finally helped out not only Bright Wall, but the dwellers as well. And, uh, that's pretty much it. We helped them out, got a couple things done, found out the gnomes have uh, started doing exactly what I thought they were going to do. Especially because of the source magic from the gargoyle. So. Ah well. <laughs> it's doing what I thought it would. Alrighty. So. Let me just turn on my headset. It's a little quiet. There we go. So. We're going to head on to where Walter is. And get onto that monorail. Wherever that is. Oh. This guy's rich. I'm yeah. yeah. I'm rich, but you're not gonna be able to do that. I'm telling you that much. Oh fuck you. There we go. That works. Well, I don't, I don't know what they thought they were getting into, but uh, <laughs> it was not in their favor. Alrighty, so okay, so wolves. Fair enough. Some wolves nearby. Oh, dig spot. All right, well. There we go. If I'm a little quiet, it's because I'm still a little sleepy. <laughs> I've had a, uh, had a long day yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, I probably didn't get enough sleep. Even though I napped after work. Cut out his liver so I can hang up from a mantelpiece like a, a a livery thing on your mantelpiece. <laughs> livery thing on your mantle. Well, I mean, that would be a weird addition to your mantle. That's your prerogative, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, look, more of them. Oh, yeah. Better than you know. And that's it. Cool. Awesome. Well, we don't have to deal with them much anymore now, do we? We're just going to head over to the monorail. This time, probably not having to deal with anything more. Oh, wait. A couple wolves. Eh, at least that was quick. Alrighty. Let's find that dig spot, Duggo. Nice. So, what do we got? Slow time potion. I can live with that. Is there anything hidden up here in the trees? Any treasures? Another dig spot. I'm fine with. Okay. Okay. Wow, I have a lot of gold. <laughs> Another slow time potion. Okay. Um, is there any houses that I need to buy Welcome still? To the sanctuary. Hi there. Hi there, Jasper. Um, 
There's a merc camp. Not let me. Yep. Still doesn't let me buy any buildings. That's fine. Okay. And I have to still wait on those. Huh. Is there any houses I haven't picked up yet? That's not for sale now. Okay. Huh. I'm at the max I can invest right now. That's mildly annoying. <laughs> because now I'm just sitting on money that I can't use right now. I would prefer to use it, but... Oh well. Let's uh, head on over... There's a quest over here. It's a different I'm quest. I'm a wandering trader, trying to get to Brightwall Village. Okay. The woods become infested with marauding renegades. Yeah, I ran into They're a few. They're bound to rob me and kill me. Or yeah. kill me and rob me. I'm actually not bothered about the order. You yeah, tough, though. the order doesn't really matter. Could you escort me there? I'll be able to pay you something once I reach the safety of Brightwall. It's money. Money and seals. Okay. How about it then? Yeah. You'll take me. Thank you. I'll make it worth the trouble. Really, I will. Sounds good to me. Uh. Guess I gotta take you by the hand. What's the hold up? Let's be uh, on our way. Um. Uh, okay. Calm down. I've Just been a, a wandering trader all my life. My mother was too. Couldn't tell you who my father was. Nor could my mother, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as long as you can joke about it. Alright. It's almost certain that we'll get attacked by bandits. I don't know why the king doesn't do something about it. Renegades! Don't let them kill me! Absolutely. There we go! Well, that went better than I thought. Yeah, let's go. That's taken care of. It's a living anyway. Buying stuff in one place, selling it in another. Yeah, I guess it is. That's essentially how all commerce works. Well, at least for middlemen. It's basically how uh, brick and mortar stores exist. Even though they're going by the wayside in favor of delivery. And bandits. There's always more than you bargain for. Oh yeah, there always is. Alright. Yep. Whoopsies. Okay. Well, they're actually getting a couple good hits on me. Whoop. Oh, geez. Okay, come on now. Oh, geez. Okay. Fuck you. There you go, bud. Fuck you. Alrighty. Let's go. Can't you feel the call of the open road? A little bit. A little going. bit now. Now that I've been helping you. I figure I might as well use a health potion. I've been getting them by the dozens. I read a book the other day by some uh -huh. bloke called Dan Moria. <laughs> what rubbish it was. Dan Moria? What? I don't have to double check what the hell he meant by that, but... Yeah, about that. Oops. 
Okay. No more of them. Come on. Kept pressing the trigger. And it's like, no, no, I don't want to do it. Alright. I like that even if we disconnect from me walking too fast, he still comes back and tries to catch up. fairly nice that they put that in because if I had to keep coming back to him over and over again every disconnect I would lose my mind eventually I hope to open a more permanent shop Business yeah. bizarre of the bazaar I thought I'd call it just need to get some weird goods and that to justify the name yeah a little you would have to probably go out of your way. Wandering trader. There's just so much, well, wandering. Bit of mm -hmm. trading as well. I would hope so. Otherwise, what kind of money would you be making? Not enough. Alrighty. See you later then. Bye -bye. We've made it. Thank yeah. you. Here's a little something for you. Oh, and come back later if you like when I've got my stall set up. I'll give you a good price. Sounds good. You arrived safely in Brightwall as an added bonus. The man you were escorting wasn't killed. He's sure to show his gratitude by offering you a discount. Finally, a That'd be nice. This town. A little's even coming through my door. Which is always a good thing. Just a few things no. on sale, just so you know. Yeah, I figured. But uh, for right now, I don't really need to do that much. Is there any quests over here, too, now that I think about it? I noticed a couple... A couple exclamation points. Let me look into that. I guess things are alright, but they could be a lot better. Couple of them walking around. Alright. Oh, this relationship quests. I you were. Okay. I, I, I l did chicken little thing at a couple people and now they all think that I'm trying to be nice to them when really I was just trying to get to the next mean option to fuck with them but the game doesn't really like that apparently so <sighs> until I get another evil option to uh, fuck with them which makes me bad <laughs> makes me feel bad saying that but uh oh well Unfortunately, there's not much else I can do. Um, that's a 10, isn't it? I think it's a 10. Yeah, it's a 10. Okay. I did get a better angle on it. I sell bright walls best. Yeah. Do ya? I could have sworn there was more quests around here. Maybe if I look ah, at the quest hello. list. Hello, Jasper. Okay. Um, gnomes are evil and ancient key, huh? Saul has the key to an ancient secret, but he needs some help. Ah, I'm in here. Might as well. <laughs> Did I really have to be teleported to the edge of town? Really? Wait, what? Pointing me in that direction. Why? Didn't it say it was in bright wall? Oh. Um. Okay. Now the game is fucking with me. I know it has to be. Okay. That light trail is being a shit. I'm not sure whether I should listen to it or not. Ah, you know what? Maybe if I pull it up on the map for Brightwall Village, I'll be able to find them. That's a fetch. It's a gift. 
chicken races. Oh, it's over here. All right. That uh gives me a lead to follow. Weapons in all shapes and sizes. That's a very nice look indeed, I must say. Very nice looking deed. What? Not sure what that means, but okay. Alrighty. That's weird. Please, I'm begging you. Um, I guess so. Begging you. <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, you kind of are. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was a weird thing. Watching that load in like it was. Okay. Well. Trying to find my way around town has proven a bit of a pain in the ass. But. I think I have found the correct way. Even though the game did not really want to take me there. There we are. Should be in the Braywall Academy. Mm -hmm. I was right. Also, it loaded a lot faster than I thought it would. Okay, so. Over here. Over here. Hello hi there. again. You oh, hi there. You're that guy. Cousin, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did. Turned out to be a rather ancient artifact, a key to a secret door in this very academy. Most That's exciting. Weird. I was all ready to open it and investigate, but Samuel, my boss, said it might be dangerous. He suggested I find a capable escort. You That's certainly fair. look right for the job. Will you come with me? It could be the greatest discovery of the century. Is it just me, or did he sound a little tinny? That might be my headset. Anyway. Sure, let's Those do it. Things... The key of forbidden knowledge. Okay. You will brilliant. Let's go then, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wouldn't be the first one I've done today. Let's do another escort. Oh, is this that one door that I found in the reliquary that I couldn't actually go in through? Because I needed a key of some sort? Okay, so we're just going to be fighting hollow men this time. Knowing my luck, all we'll find is a list of goods traded to some long dead merchant a thousand years ago. Still, that could be interesting in itself. What Maybe. did they trade in those days? Who knows? Um, presumably food. Uh, weapons. Armor. Uh, potions in some cases. Oh boy. Uh, hollow man. Oh, really? Are we not hitting it at all? Okay, that's stupid. Okay. There we go. Okay. Well, that was weird. The incline didn't let me aim at them at all. Aren't you dying to find out what's behind that hidden door? Not as much as the Hollow Men and possibly you might. I'm not entirely sure. Considering how... Considering the shenanigans that the uh, aiming system was giving me just a couple seconds ago. What the fuck? Why is it doing that? And that one's just floating on air. That's weird. Alrighty. Yeah. Cool. There we are. Let's keep on moving. We might find new tomes of arcane lore or a book on ancient science that will enable us to build a flying machine or something. Though that is unlikely, I have to admit. That is the most unlikeliest thing you could have said. I'll admit. Like, you might be able to see something worthwhile, but I think 
unless you find like fucking Lost City of Atlantis type tech. Oh geez. Okay. Come on. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Good. At this point, it's just better off doing melee. Most interesting. Who knows what strange wonders and curious artifacts may be found behind this mysterious door? Well, I mean, it'll be something, that's for sure. And we had the key. Wow, look at this place! It's stacked with rare books and ancient tomes. It's like a librarian's paradise. A little I bit. Thank you so much for getting me here safely, but you can go now. I'm going to stay here for a while, read and catalog everything. It's going to be thoroughly marvelous. Well, here's hoping that, uh... Here's hoping that something pops out that's actually useful. Thanks to you, Saul has unearthed what may be a vast store of lost knowledge. Although it's possible he could start reading and realize it's all just stuff people already know, but still. Be cool either way, because it's like, hey, all of this is a place no one knew. Unless it's all love story shit. Hey! Bit of gold. Carl Tenz, he was hunting with a friend when tragedy struck. Attempting to climb over a mossy log, Carl slipped and his rifle fired. The bullet striking his friend squarely in the chest. Ooh. It was almost certainly an accident, but still, he did kill him. So I'm well within my rights to include it here. I guess, given the banality of the circumstances, he wasn't really famous. But when this book comes out, he bloody well will be there. <laughs> what kind of justification is that? An exceptionally rare book. Alright, well. I'll put that away at some point. Just an old book case. Alrighty. Maybe the case, but... One little look in it. I just picked up a condom. All right, then. Given how old and locked away this place was, that condom is probably expired by now. The thing will probably break. First use. Just getting it out the wrapper. All right, well, um, that was a thing to look. Complete set of cooking for hobs. The pictures are not pleasant. Yeah, I bet. All right, I'm just going to end the uh, episode here for right now. I'm just going to search around for uh, gold and presumably ancient condoms. So uh, for now, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and, well, doing a lot of escort quests. Because, well, I mean, it's an easy way to get seals and money. Pajama bed socks. Really. And condoms. <laughs> I guess. For you.